What do we need to send to qualify? Like, tell me now, tell me now in the comment sections, what do you want from Croatia to give us pass? Pozdrav svima, welcome back to my channel. I am doing reaction videos for Eurovision. If you're a new person, welcome. Please subscribe. I'm gonna go through some Eurovision material and we're gonna talk about that. Uh, I decided to kick off this season with something different. So let's go back in time, but not that far away, just a few months. And let's see how I feel about Eurovision 2021. Let's see what changed in my ranking and in my opinions in these six months. Who got robbed, who got overrated and undeservingly into the final because we have those as well. Yeah, not salty at all. But before I do that, uh, I have two announcements to make. The first one being I will try to include national finals this season in my channel. So I will react to those snippets and stuff. I can't promise that all national finals will be covered, but I will do my best to cover as much as I can. Second announcement is that I'm going to be in the arena for the first time in my life next year. So if you happen to be in Turin or in the arena and you recognize me, come and say hi. I will be so glad to finally meet some of you. Uh, yeah, I can't wait. I, I'm literally excited right now and it's six months away and I'm also nervous because soon we're gonna get songs released and I want quality for 2022 I want I want it to be the best year ever because that's gonna be my first time hearing the songs live and being a part of this whole thing so I really hope it's gonna be a good year because this is definitely the one that I'm gonna remember for the rest of my life so Enough rambling, let's go into this 2021 recap. I'm gonna lose my voice and breath, but it's worth it. Starting in 3, 2, 1. So in the last place we have Latvia, and I have to say Latvia did not deserve to come last, but also I have to be honest, it is deservingly a non-qualifier. It just didn't work live, her voice was not on point. He was on point though, the song is dated, let's be honest, but I love it. Come at me if you want to, but like the power he has in his voice, the song is simple, I love it, it was underrated. Ireland, good idea on paper, but the execution said no, and I'm sorry, I feel bad for them. Czech Republic also the country that surprised me but not in the best way um, the dancers were excessive and just didn't work north macedonia okay they had their epic moment in a few seconds bam yeah it is cool but yeah not enough to impress millions of people australia i'm sorry they couldn't participate as every other country and they worked with what they have yeah, hopefully next year they're gonna be back with us. Okay, how to put this nicely? Poland was overrated. Um, in my humble opinion, you can disagree, but this was the weakest performance out of all 39. Slovenia, she brought it with her vocals, but I think just the public did not resonate with the song that well. Same as Estonia, I mean, everything is alright with this, nice visuals, good voice, good looking man, but also uh, the curse of the spots too, Slovenia and Estonia didn't make it. How did Austria not make it? I don't know, but this was really good. It was sleek, it was professional, he looked good, he sang perfectly, but he didn't make it. Oh, Romania. Um, she was so insecure. If she had more confidence and a bit more control in her voice, this would be amazing. This would be like, wow, but it didn't. Denmark. Um, I thought it's gonna qualify, but I have to be honest, I was not mad they didn't. I wouldn't skip it, but it's just not my vibe. 
what do we need to send to qualify? Like, tell me now, tell me now in the comment sections, what do you want from Croatia to give us pass? I'm looking at Europe. The UK, <laughs> okay, the double zero country. That was not polite, I apologize. Um, if you're everybody's 11th, you're still gonna get double zero. So that doesn't mean it was the worst and 26th, but mm, this one stood out, but in a negative way, if you ask me, is my last place of the season. And I'm not even hiding that. I just don't like it. Um, I like the full moon. I love the full moon. But I just can't with his voice. It's, mm, it really clashes with something in my mind. I just can't explain it. Nothing personal though. I'm surprised this guy's zero points. They deserved a bit more, right? Okay, this is the flop of the season and I don't understand, like, with Croatia flop of the season, but flop of the final, I would say. Like, how did this end up with only 22nd place? I don't understand, it was good. I love her voice, I love her voice. Uh, the visuals were nice. Too much makeup though. Like, I'm not an expert, but girl, that was too much. Azerbaijan is loved by Croatians. You would be surprised how many people love this song. And you can actually hear it in clubs. So, yeah, she did great. Something in my mind still does not let me connect with this song. I can't explain it. I should like it by definition, but... And uh, something's not there. I just don't know. <sighs> so you kicked us out of the final. But okay, I like the song so I can forgive him. I love the message behind it. I love the harmonies, the staging. So personally, it works for me. Okay, this uh, high note was pulled off so great. She deserved to qualify only based on that. Like. So effortless and so perfect. Love the, the dress though. Cyprus had one of the best packages, I would say. It had everything. Style, choreography, visuals, uh, the song, the voice, everything. Perfect. Hurricane. Um, I had my doubts about them, but I have to say they really slayed that stage. Um, they're just extra and you have to love them. Sweden being out of top 10, is this the parallel universe we're in? I don't know what happened, I mean, I know what happened, but I'm surprised it happened. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about surprises. How did this end up 13th? Like, it's beyond me. And mm, that last note was meme worthy and it is. Portugal, they elevated so much from that performance that we had in the national final. They did pretty well. I didn't expect them that high. I expected them around 20th, to be honest. My winner, my underrated winner, Victoria, she deserves the world and the emotion she brings with this song. Beautiful. Greece, okay, serving this Supergirl staging. Uh, I was concerned about her performance and vocals, but I ate my words, so I apologize for all the things I said about her. Russia. This is so epic. This is epic, and this brought her this result. Just that. I'm happy Lithuania achieved the top 10 result, but I'm not sure if I vibe with this song as much as I did before and this performance is a bit... It got old pretty fast, if you know what I mean. Okay, what happened with Malta I will never understand. It was perfect, okay, let's now talk about that. But who put her sixth in the running order? I will never understand that. Okay, if Finland didn't have Italy in the competition, this could have won, my opinion. <laughs> this was 30-something in my ranking, 
after all songs have been released. I'm just gonna say before you press that dislike button that now it's my second. I fell in love. <laughs> I will... Oh, okay, I'm gonna get dislike button right now. Um, I did not fall in love with this one and I will never... I respect their originality and their style, but it's just not, it's just not for me, no. It would be a shame to talk while he sings. I will say only that. It was perfect. Perfect. Same as this one. French language has something that is so special in music and this staging. I love these types of staging for France. For anyone, but... Mm. And our winners, they deserve it. Come on, let's be honest. You can hate it as much as you want, but it was a deserving winner. And I think what really helped them is also their personality. Uh, so there you have it. It was very short, it was brief, and I feel tired. <sighs> Let me know in the comment section what do you think of 2021, how do you feel about all this, and do you agree or disagree with me? You are free to leave your opinion in the comment section. Uh, next video is gonna be something about national finals. Uh, I don't know what's first in line, probably Estilao. So I will try to cover that and Festival Congress, of course, Albania, one of my favorite countries at Eurovision. I can't wait to see what they prepare. Don't go anywhere because I'll be back very, very soon. Bye.